What's going on everybody? My name is Carnage Time and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to try playing Would You Rather. It's a little game you can go find on the Google search. It's just WouldYouRather.com or whatever. Just a little game you can play. And uh, it gives you a Would You Rather question. And with this one it's Would You Rather Watch The Sandlot or Watch The Goonies? And depending on what you choose, it will bring up like the stats for how many chose which side or whatnot and uh see if you're in the main percentage or if you're an outcast and like to do weird shit so we're gonna we're gonna play this game let's try something different so sandlot or the goonies mm, it's kind of tough i'm gonna say goonies though and i'm part of the 53 percent uh, sandlot's really good though i really like sandlot but definitely the goonies up here on oprah or would you rather appear on Jerry Springer? Well, Springer just sounds like you have family issues, and Oprah sounds like you have, like, personal issues. So, personal issues or family issues? I mean, I'm messed up enough. Oprah's... I don't know. She's... Oprah. Well, I'd say Jerry Springer just because everybody loves Jerry Springer. Get that Springer chant going. Mm. Oh, everybody wanted to be on Oprah, apparently. I'm uh, an outcast. What? 412,000 people agreed with me, so... We're going on Springer. Uh, would you rather get frostbite or be severely burned? I've had frostbitten before, and, like, frostbite is not fun to play with. But burning? Burning? Oh, man. Scars or possibly lose a finger or limb or something? This is a tough one. Oh, this is good. Um, I've been burned, like with grease and stuff. I'd say burned. I don't, I don't like being frostbite. Wow, everybody else said no frost. They'd have really have frostbite. No, thank you. Would you rather? Ah, boring. Would you rather wear a ski suit all the time or go everywhere barefoot? A whole ski suit? Or go barefoot? I'd say barefoot. I mean, that just doesn't even sound comfortable. Ah, everybody agreed with me. Or I agreed with them. Uh, for one week, would you rather... Oh, I guess I should probably read the top part before I <laughs> read the question. For one week, would you rather eat nothing but dog treats, eat nothing but cat food? Cat food sounds disgusting. We're going to go with dog treats. Damn, almost a million people would rather eat dog treats than eat cat food. No why. When you walk into a room, would you rather have everybody stare awkwardly or have everyone look away in disgust? Well, I mean, I get the awkwardly stare all the time anyway, so I'm used to that. Disgust, that just doesn't sound great. That just sounds terrible. Everybody looking at you like you're a piece of crap? Would you rather... Get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet. Ooh, those things are nasty. If you've never seen them, go Google Japanese hornet. They're nasty. Or be bitten once by a black little spider. Oh, how many times does repeatedly, though? That could be like twice, three times. Oh, so I got the hiccups. Or once by a black widow. I mean, as long as I'm not going to die. I'd say... Oh my god. I'd say Black Widow because that'd be constant. Like, it'd be again and again and again. And then this would just be... If I don't die, I'm definitely doing this. Yeah, most people would agree. Because if you ever look up at those fucking Japanese hornets... Whew, nasty. To let out your anger, would you rather smash a computer with a baseball bat? That'd be fun. Or smash a guitar on the floor? I mean, this would be a lot more expensive. I'm gonna go with smash the guitar. Yeah, most people would agree. Actually, it's kind of even. Would you rather lose your keys, lose your cell phone? Cell phone all the way because I don't even use my cell phone. It's not even on. I just use the Wi-Fi on it. I don't. I don't want to talk to people. People constantly texting you or calling you and wanting you to do stuff, help them move. Screw that. Lose my keys. That'd be terrible. I wouldn't be able to get to work. I wouldn't be able to have money from my job and be able to pay for all this 
fun, fancy equipment to give you guys YouTube videos. So we're going to go with the cell phone. Fuck the cell phone. Be Wilma Flintstone. Or be Velma from Scooby-Doo Mystery Gang. Oh, I'd love to solve mysteries. And being way back with the dinosaurs would be cool. Hmm. I'd rather solve mysteries. Dinosaurs, you can get eaten by a T-Rex. One chomp. Damn, a lot of people want to be fucking Velma. <laughs> Would you rather live in a nudist colony or live with the Amish? I mean, if there's a lot of hot chicks, I'd say nudist. The Amish, I mean, I don't really know much about their culture other than they don't really use modern technology. So we're going to go with the nudist. I mean, nothing wrong with a bunch of dicks walking around, I guess. But if you get a free peek at a hottie, let's go for it. Damn, 77%. If you were to be crippled, would you rather break an arm with a slightly painful infection or break a leg? Break a leg all the way. I mean, I, I use my arms for stuff. I can't walk or go to work. Hell to the yeah. I don't want to go to work. Work sucks. Would you rather be anorexic or be obese? Be obese. <laughs> I mean, I look anorexic, but I eat all the time. If I'm, ugh, I love food. I'm not. I'm not giving up my food. And obviously, being obese, you don't have to because you're obese. You're a fat tub of lard. Okay. Would you rather be featured on the show Bridezilla's or be featured on the show What Not to Wear? I don't know what either one of those are. I don't watch TV. Most of the time, I just watch videos on YouTube. And it's usually just a small group of YouTubers that I watch. I don't really go out and watch random shows. Bridezilla's sounds like a wedding show. What Not to Wear sounds like a fashion so show. I don't know. I don't want to get married. Nah, what Not to Wear. I wear black on black on black. So, I mean, I guess this. I don't really want to be like around a bunch of... Well, I don't know. I can get laid being around a bunch of brides. Bunch of the, what are the bride brides? Um, what are the brides' first mates called? I don't know. The Golden Girls, whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. That's how much I care about weddings. We'll go with that, just because there's me a bunch of hotties. Okay, a bunch of people wanted to be on what not to wear. Would you rather only be able to see the world in a shade of red, or barely hear people when they speak? I live the second one. I'm deaf. Like, people talk to me all the time, and every time, like, it's just like my dad. As soon as you say something to me, I'm like, huh? Like, I, I'm listening, I just uh, didn't hear you. But see the world in a shade of red. I'm partially colorblind. I'm mild protein, or protan, whatever it's called. Where it's like, I can only, I can't see, um, what is it, red and green? I have trouble seeing those colors like I can see green like I know this is green I can tell it's green and uh, what it is is like when colors are blended like you don't see certain shades of them so I mean I'm already partially colorblind but seeing the whole world in a shade of red would suck but I can barely hear already so I might as well go with that damn people want to see red um, would you rather be woken up at 3 a.m. every morning and forced to watch Mrs. Doubtfire Get punched in the face by an average man once every two months. Oh man. This is Doubtfire, we get old quick. Get punched in the face by an average man every two months. Once every two months. You're just waiting for the guy to come and you're just like, oh my god. It's June it's June 29th. He's he's gotta show up sooner or later. Alright. Um I mean, it's 2 a.m. right now, so I wouldn't even be waking up to watch Mrs. Doubtfire. They'd just be like, alright, it's time to watch Mrs. Doubtfire. That means I wouldn't be able to go to bed until after. We'll just go with that because I don't want to be punched in the face. I'm a little girl when it comes to violence. Damn, a lot of people want to get hit in the mouth. <laughs> Twice. What is, it? what is it? Punch in the face by an average man once, once every two months. So, I mean, I guess it's 60 days to get hit once in the face. I don't get this go like why would you want either one of those like it's, it's question is would you rather 
have this over that. I mean, I can watch Mrs. Doubtfire. Who doesn't love uh, Robin Williams? For the rest of your life, would you rather marry a new random person every year? Interesting. Marry one random person and stick with it. Ooh, that's a risk. I mean, one year might suck because you have a shit wife or husband. But be stuck with a random shit person? No, thank you. Damn, everybody else is like, I want to stick with it. Not me. Variety. Would you rather always run, always crawl? Tiring? Boring. But I'm, I'm casual and pretty laid back, so I think I'd always, ra I'd rather always crawl. Cause like, if you have to go to the bathroom, like, not that bad. You just take off running towards the bathroom. Run down the steps. You gotta go to the bathroom? Yeah, but not that bad, but I'm running cause I have to. So we're gonna go always crawl. Jesus, everybody wants to run. Everybody's in a hurry. In a hurry to die. Would you rather not know how to read, not know how to write? I mean, I'm a shit reader as it is, so it's like, that wouldn't change too much. And, uh, as far as writing, I do a lot of paperwork at work, so that would be not good for my job. I'll say not know how to read. Screw it. Damn. Everybody wants to know how to read. See, I'm not really a reader, though, like, as far as, like, picking up a book or something. It's not for me. I don't do it. I'd rather watch, like, uh, like a movie or something. Would you rather be a vampire or be a werewolf? Vampire. All the way. What? Everybody wants to be a werewolf? You wouldn't be able to blend in. I mean, you wouldn't be able to go out in sunlight if you go, like, um, traditional, like, vampires. You'd have to sleep during the day, which I'd be okay with that. But to be a vampire? Oh, that'd be so cool. Be a, va be a werewolf. Like, it means you'd have to, like, your clothes would constantly be ripped and you'd be all hairy and you'd smell like a dog. <sniffs> no, thank you. Would you rather be a manly woman or one womanly man? I mean, I'm, I frolic every now and again, so we'll go with that. A manly woman. No, thank you. Would you rather be a pirate be a ninja? Ooh, this one's hard. I love ninjas, but being a pirate, I'm gonna go with pirate because that would just be so cool. But being a ninja, man, like, not in the movies ninja, just like a human normal being ninja, I mean, that'd be kind of cool to know, like, martial arts and be able to use weapons and stuff, but just to be able to say you're a pirate, badass. Jeez, everybody wanted to be a ninja. Own a lightsaber, or would you rather know the ways of the force? So pretty much, chop your leg off because you have a lightsaber and don't know how to use it. Which is pretty simple, don't touch yourself with the light side. <laughs> or know the ways of the force. I think the knowing the ways of the force would be badass. Being able to, um, like, move stuff with the force. Um, being able to control someone's mind just by waving your hand. I think that'd be kind of cool, so we'll do it with that one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, if you were lost in space, would you rather... Run into a full-grown alien from a Alien? Oh god, like the mother? The queen? Mm. Run into Predator. Oh man. Well, I mean, the Predator wouldn't kill you. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movies or not, Alien and Predator. Aliens, they are they're strictly just want to evolve and um, make their species grow. And what they do is they put pretty much an egg inside you. And there's like the, the chest rippers or whatever they're called. Like rips out of your actual rib cage right straight through your chest and then you die but a predator he's only going to kill you if you hold a weapon or be um like um have any aggression towards him but if you're just like an innocent bystander i don't think he would kill you plus if he was going to kill you you wouldn't even know it was coming so if there's a cut right here i just sneezed really bad um i don't know what to answer between these two so instead of answering it, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see all you dudes in the next episode.